what's going on with the Biden impeachment, what they have, what they don't have, whether or not this is really a dumpster fire in a clown car. Are they really going to go ahead with with this? They have a three vote margin. Um, a three vote margin, which, and I believe Ken Buck from Colorado has already said that he would vote no, which gives them a two vote margin. What do you think? Are we actually going to have this? Well, there's two competing pressures here, right? The first is the fact that the impeachment probe has pretty much by any measure not gone the way that they had hoped. And we can talk about, you know, know, we know why that's the case. I'm sure we will. Uh, But the other is that there is enormous pressure from the base, from right wing media in particular and from the base uh, uh, mostly of Trump supporting Republicans uh, for this to happen. And part of that's because for months there was uh, this this effort to try and impugn President Biden, um, you know, basically by tying him to his son's business deals um, and it, it went largely under the radar. And so it was very much a topic of conversation on Fox News and right wing media broadly. Uh, but there wasn't a lot of attention paid to it beyond that. And as such, there wasn't a lot of pushback on it. And so, you know, the claims that were being made were, were wildly exaggerated and so on and so forth. But it really built this sense of Biden did these horrible things. We need to hold him into account right. that now is putting this external pressure on the Republican Party, even as they are realizing that they don't have the goods. Okay, so, you know, I wrote in my newsletter this morning that there's, it, it's pretty easy to understand what the pressure is behind it. There are three things going on, as you mentioned. The base really wants this. I mean, they really want it desperately. They want the counter programming next year. Um, number two, uh, Mike Johnson needs this as kind of a CYA because, uh, you know, the moment he tries to act like an adult or, you know, suggests that, you know, he might actually allow you know, aid to Ukraine or keep the government open, you know, the fire breathing fanatics in the in the Freedom Caucus are going to go crazy. So the, the, this is this is the ultimate demand of the Marjorie Taylor Green faction, the Matt Gates faction. He has to do this. He's hanging on by a thread. And of course, you know, the third major factor is Donald Trump. Donald Trump wants right. this. Donald Trump apparently was desperate to have his other impeachments expunged. And since that's not a thing, the next best thing would be, of course, to impeach Joe Biden. Right. And the, the, imp, the, you know, the psychological and political impulse is pretty obvious here. You know, the worse Donald Trump looks, the more alarming, the scarier, the more corrupt he is, the more erratic he is, the, the higher the pressure is to make Joe Biden look even worse, right? The, the pressure to make Joe Biden the you know even more dangerous and more corrupt than Donald Trump that's that's rising exponentially particularly as we move into the felony trial season yeah True? i mean at least equivalently right i mean we saw donald yeah. trump over the weekend try and uh, assert that joe biden is the person who is an autocrat and who who disregards norms and all these various things you know it's a, it is projection it is, anyone yeah i yeah. mean it's a ridiculous <laughs> argument on its face But there are a lot of people that really believe that democracy is under threat from the left and not the right, right? They believe that, Mm -hmm. for example, the response to the January 6th attack at the Capitol was an example of of, uh, you know, a a heavy political hand weighing in on law enforcement and trying to punish people for their political views when the reality is people were beating cops. And that's why they're in prison. Like, it's not complicated. But this, this argument has a lot of traction, especially because, you know, when we think about this issue of democracy in peril. Uh, specifically, Donald Trump did such a good job of convincing his base that the election was stolen. They see democracy as already having been right. undercut by Joe Biden. Right. And so so that's just one example. But you're right. There's a lot of this sort of projection that goes throughout uh, Donald Trump's and the rights conversations about Joe Biden. And the, the, the remarkable thing is that even prior to this point, even prior to them moving forward with a potential impeachment, Joe Biden and his family are seen as about as equivalently corrupt as Donald Trump and his right. family, according to polling, which is just remarkable. I mean, yes, Hunter Biden is a sketchy guy, right? He very clearly yeah. traded on the Biden name to make some cash. Uh, but that does not extend to Joe Biden. There's no evidence that extends to Joe Biden in any significant way. And yet Joe Biden is already looped in uh, and has been successfully looped into Hunter's activities. Uh, by well, and, and, and again, this is where you think you take your crazy pills because, you know, the, the people, you know, we just spent four years watching Ivanka Trump right. and, 
you know, Don Jr. and Jared Kushner just literally cash in sure. on, on their White House roles right. to not, not a thousand dollars here or there, but actual billions right. of, of dollars. Right. And yet now the focus. But again, this is the the necessary. Um, uh, what about is OK, so let's talk about what, what they rolled out yesterday. The, the, the smoking gun. This was the right. monthly payments from directly from Hunter Biden's law firm to Joe Biden him, himself. And and this, th- they they hyped this. Um, yeah, and so so this has been all along, the standard that they say they're going to hit is this, that there is money flowing from Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. The challenge that they have, and this was, this came to light very shortly after this, you know, the, James Comer released this video and made these allegations about how ch- money from China and how you know, this undercuts the mainstream media. Essentially what happened is that in 2018, Joe Biden went with Hunter Biden to buy a truck because uh, Hunter Biden was a mess and Hunter Biden was, you know, yeah. addicted to drugs and Hunter Biden was having a lot of professional and personal issues. And he went with him and Joe Biden helped him buy a truck and he, he fronted the cost of the truck. And, you know, there's a photo of Joe Biden, and Hunter Biden and the car dealer standing in front of the truck. And so then later, uh, Hunter Biden, through his law firm, paid apparently three month three payments over the course of three months of about, you know, what is it, thirteen hundred dollars. In total it's about forty one hundred dollars. He paid his father back for the truck. That's forty one hundred dollars. It. it was interesting when I when I read the Republican press release, they didn't actually have the dollar amount right. in <laughs> because it's not quite as sexy to say, yes, you know, these these, you know, these these payments. Yeah, one thousand three hundred dollars, three of them to pay back a car loan, a you know, truck loan or lease right. or whatever it was. Also, it seems relevant that, number one, that it was in 2018 when Joe Biden wasn't even in office. So it's right. not clear what you're implying here. And this had actually already been reported by The New York Post. So it's not even new. That's right. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. You know, but I mean, the, the remarkable thing is that and this is why you just there is, should be no credibility given to James Comer's assertions, because instead of presenting this in the proper context of what it actually is, you know, we have questions about this. He then goes on television and, you know, to Newsmax through this right wing network to try and argue that this is actually significant, that, you know, he he he, he made this a re- really amazing transition over the course of the past two months, by the way, where there, there was a similar issue. Issue that occurred about a month ago where they uncovered these two checks between Joe Biden and Joe Biden's brother, uh, James. Yeah, so James right, Biden, yeah. Biden had, had written these checks to Joe Biden, one for 200000 one for 40000 And, you know, Cam Comer made a lot of fuss about this and how it represents all this blah, blah, blah. But this, too, was repayments of a loan. And it says on the check, loan repayment, there's documentation of Joe Biden having loaned his brother this money. At the time, James Comer's argument was, well, we don't think this is really a loan. We think this is actually something else, that this is right, payment, right. blah, blah, blah. Then it became very mm-hmm. obvious it was a loan. You know, again, the check says loan repayment on it, <laughs> which is either five years ago them scheming to try and fool people in the future, or it's actually a loan repayment. But so now what James Comer has done, he did this last night, is he has shifted his frame so that now he's arguing that this these loans are the scheme under which the Bidens are getting all this money. So he just changes his argument to fit whatever the pushback he's getting in is because the arguments he's making are so poorly constructed in the first place. He's literally grasping, well, not literally, he is figuratively grasping at straws and then trying to present those as evidence of wrongdoing, and he keeps getting undercut.